that I have like a sugar daddy. I don't know if this bread is stale. Dude, parking in Santa Monica is a bitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 It fucking sucks. Jade Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on today's video. You guys are freaking dope. I'm gonna get ready for the day and take you guys along. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur. But uh, what I've realized as my YouTube channel has growing is that there's a lot of people that don't know who I am. That's okay, I don't really give a shit. But I'm gonna answer some of your questions and get ready with you. It's kind of like a chit chat, Q and A. And I know some of you guys are guys or you're people that just don't give a shit about makeup, but I don't know. If you guys are curious, like I do pay my own bills right now and I'm 17 and a lot of you guys want to know how you got an apartment at 17 a lot of you guys want to know how you make money like all these things which is super cool because I want to kind of dive right into that so first of all I do marketing for brands and I get paid by consulting them to build their online presence and make money so I just help businesses make money and I also help influencers make money and I help um, musicians make money I just help people make money online um, if that can like summarize my line of work I do consulting and give them strategy and to answer your question how you got an apartment at 17 so this is a sub lease so if a sub lease is different than a lease because your lease is under someone else's name I've been in LA for like a week now it's officially been a week um, it's super exciting but um you know, I've noticed a few things. I don't hang out with these people, okay? Just disclaimer, but like, I notice a lot of people are clout chasers. Now, if you don't know what a clout chaser is, it's like slang for people who are freeloaders and take advantage of people for money or clout, which is fame. I have noticed like a lot of people assume, which I'm so disgusted by, like assume because I have my own apartment that, and I hang out with like older guys, like not older, they're not old, it's just like I'm 17 and like all my friends are like in 20s and like that I have like a sugar daddy, like what the fuck? I am my own dad, like everyone knows if you're friends with me, I take care of you, like it's really disgusting to me. I'm not in school, I'm not in high school anymore so I can say this, but like I have people that steal items from stores, <sighs> but like you know what I mean? Like they're in such a denial mode and refuse to get off their fucking Ass. I, I honestly could like I, I don't give a shit what you do don't listen to me But I know there's some of you who aren't like that and you feel like your friends are maybe into partying and Regular high school activities, but you don't feel like that. I'm just talking about you if you're really into that I actually support you 100% like fucking if you want to smoke weed smoke weed You know like if you want to fucking party just go party and I don't give a shit But I know some girl out there and guys some girl out there just feels like they're a black sheep and I just want to let you know, I wish I had someone telling me that I was the black sheep and it's okay. So we're in the kitchen and I'm going to show you my favorite lunch to make. We're meeting up in like two hours and I need to prepare for my meeting. So I'm going to try to make this quick. This, this Thai chili veggie burger, potato fry, bread. I love this tomato and this onion. And we're going to make my sandwich. I don't know if this bread is stale or not. I think it's fine. Fuck, I burned the toast. I burnt also the vegetable patty <laughs> and I don't know if I cut this right and there's like bugs in that but um other than that I think it's good and the sweet potato fries are in the oven okay mm. Mm. ooh this bread stale I think a brand reads the first three sentences after that they turn it off so right. whatever you need okay so I literally drove my ass to Santa Monica Dude, parking in Santa Monica is a bitch. I'm gonna go head over to the coffee shop. We're meeting at Bulletproof Coffee. Update, I've been walking for like a good couple minutes and I'm lost. <laughs> What's up? Hi, Matt. How nice to meet you. How's it going? Good, good to good. meet you. Can I please get the coconut milk latte? Uh, can I have a small? This is the Bulletproof Coffee I got. We're gonna do a taste test. But the dude owns a private island, so, you know, who am I to judge? He owns a private island. Yes, he owns a private island. He lives off the country. I need a private island. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, I'm here with Matt. Say hey. What's up? Matt, what do you do? Tell us a little about your personal brand and what you post. Yeah, my name is Matt Loberstein. Uh, I've built a seven-figure e-commerce brand, or multiple brands. Uh, and now I have a YouTube channel where I show everything that I've done to get here and also document what I'm doing as an entrepreneur. So we've been chatting with Paul. 
And that's Jessica behind the camera. This is my question. This, this, is, this is for my own shit. Obviously, okay. you're busy, so you probably don't have time to watch all my shit or whatever. I but, do watch your shit, but you, but you follow me on Instagram. You I see my lack of posting on Instagram. You see my YouTube. Like, okay. what can I be doing better as a personal brand? Like, you know personal brand. Like, what are some things that you think I'm missing opportunity on or ignoring or just, like, not giving enough attention to and all that? I don't know if you guys utilize stories, and I don't know why you're not utilizing stories. I post but on stories. Where's your, where's oh, your highlights? Oh, you mean the feature? Yeah, the yeah, highlights. highlights. So I would basically do this following. So this is Matt's Instagram, and when I look at it, it has everything that describes Matt. But what I think right now, if you guys kind of look into Instagram data, but like stories have higher retention than actually the posts. And I feel yeah. like what I would do for you, Matt, is honestly take your five, you know what, actually take the five pillars you're talking about content-wise and put that on stories and remove as much as friction. For example, I know you do like the link and bio thing, but I honestly think that's not the future of content. I think remove friction, post the 60 second videos of your video. Um, and in I don't feed. know, in the feed actually, yeah. or the stories and keep it there so people can, rem mm. it removes friction. Hey guys, so I just finished a client meeting for an hour and to be very honest, like I I drank so much coffee underneath an empty stomach again. I know that glass vlog, I kept doing that, but this was unintentional. Like I had a meeting with Matt and Paul and Jessica and then I had a back-to-back -back meeting with another client and then I just never stopped because it was like a four hour, like five hour long drive of talking non-stop and presenting and I low-key want to like throw up and I don't want to know what I'm trying to say but like I think I just need to rest more and I'm just realizing how it's so much more important to take care of yourself like I'm about to cry not because I'm sad it's just like I think I'm just so fatigued from everything that I can't perform as well I need to fucking sleep and I think I don't want to sleep and I realize why it's just because my bed's not soft so we're gonna get a pillow and I'm on a bird. I've never used this before, so I couldn't rent the scooter bird shit. Everyone's fucking on a bird. I'm pissed off. I literally am not old enough to rent a bird. You have to be 18, and I'm 17. This fucking sucks. Good morning, everybody. It's actually 10.30 a.m., and that's my dryer because I was cleaning some clothes like a good adult. But today, I'm going to the chiropractor. My back is the problem. So if you saw yesterday, I was being all anxiety central. Fuck, it sucks. I think it's just because my I haven't been sleeping right on this bed, and I just need to get my back checked out. So I'm kind of nervous because I don't trust people. I don't trust anybody other than my parents with my back. Like, my parents crack my back for me. So guys, I'm at the chiropractor, and I'm about to get my back cracked. Okay, okay do you want to be my video? Okay. Right. Hey, guys, I just finished up with my back with Dr. Kim. Hi. He's amazing. So if you're in Los Angeles, make sure you check out. This is the website. Do you want, where can people reach you? You should check out www.unlimitedchiropracticlosangeles.com and come in, get adjustment. It's very affordable. It's very good, and he has stuffed animals. Back from the chiropractor session, and I really love supporting small businesses, and I can truly tell when a business is trying to help others and not just for their own transactional benefit. Saying, if you need a chiropractor, check out Dr. Kim at Unlimited Chiropractor Los Angeles. It's a long domain. If I was their marketing director, I'd probably change the domain. Like, my back feels Amazing! This is my lunch. It's like fried tempura with a salad, Mediterranean sauce. I don't know. Hey everybody, it's the next day. It's currently 9 a.m. So the agenda today is I have a shoot at 11, and then I have a couple filming stuff around 2 p.m. I'm meeting with my business partner for the app, and we're gonna try to do this all in one day. And. <laughs> Right when I, my camera died, I got a parking ticket. <laughs> so we're gonna get ready before I have to explode. This is the finished makeup look. I have like glossy ass eyelids. So I went to shop yesterday and this is what I picked out. It's a little, I'll show you guys what the shoot's about, but this is the finished look. And I packed my bags. I have a few more looks in here, but yeah, this is gonna be the outfit for the photo shoot. What's up, guys? This is at Matt Do Dohini. Right? Dohini photos. <laughs> at Dohini I'll put it. Photos. Put it in there. Oh, I'm a portrait, lifestyle, fashion editorial photographer. I also do a lot of commercial work for companies. Um, and I invited Jade down here to do a portrait session. And I was so honored. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say that Matt's a 
photography wizard. Okay, so we are on look number two. We got this holographic blouse from Zara I got yesterday. Wait, what are we going for here, man? Like, what's, what's, explain what's happening. So, um, first of all, I'm gonna do this. Alexa! Stop! Oh my gosh, you listen, that's very rare. Yeah, it's very rare. So what I got going on here is uh, my beauty dish up here is gonna be our key light. Lighter from above and create a little paramount lighting, which is a very classic lighting. And then I got this tiny little fill card just to bounce some it's light. It's not back a real table. Door. It's not a real table. <laughs> and then if you turn around, boom! Giant softbox that is going to illuminate the back of her and also wrap light around her. So I just wrapped up the photo session. I was in this building in downtown LA. I live like really close to downtown area, so I'm gonna head back home. Just a little insight if you're curious. Parking today was around $15, and it's been like this for a while, and it's just kind of annoying. We have, like, what you gonna do, you know? Like, I, would, I was gonna complain and sit here and talk about how expensive parking is, but you know what, fuck that. Just make more money, Jade. You know what, stop complaining. Kinda wanna have a new little vibe on this channel, and just be like a no toleration for complaining. Understand how thankful I am for you, and the two emotions I kinda wanna spread on these vlogs are gratitude and non-bullshit, you know? <laughs> so I love you all so much and it's, it's just surreal like stepping out of this photo shoot makes me realize how lucky I am to share content with you guys to understand the economy we're in is amazing right now it's not gonna last forever I'm telling you in the next few years when Instagram modeling and influencer marketing becomes harder and harder you're gonna fucking regret not taking advantage I love you so much I'm gonna go back head back home to my next meeting good morning everybody it's 6:37. a.m. <laughs> Not today, Satan. You see that says no parking, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. An hour early to not get fucking towed away. The one thing about adulting, since I am 17 and not used to this, but no excuses, is filling up gas is a pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't understand how people use like 92 premium diesel. Like what? If you use 92 premium diesel, you must be an extra bitch. But I'm just gonna go fill up some gas. Actually, I've never filled gas in my life. Let's do this together. What? What does that mean? Do I just... How do I? Do I just? Do I just? How do I? I don't. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 I'm back home and I want to show you my breakfast. So, I take this granola cereal. Trust me, this is the best ever. And I put it with some yogurt. <laughs> it looks like that. And the yogurt I use is French style yogurt from. And I have some watermelon chunks because I have to have some fresh fruit. So that's my breakfast. Oh my god. Good morning. It's 9 a.m. and I'm packing. Currently walking to the door. I'm on my way to get a package from Amazon. And I just want to chit chat with you guys before I run to my next meeting. I'm heading over to New York tonight. Literally, like, I just realized I'm gonna. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so basically, sidetrack, but important thing, I've been getting parking tickets, like, no tomorrow. Sorry, mom and dad, but I've been parking on the wrong side of the road, and I, my heart just skipped because I suddenly saw, like, all these cars here, and my car wasn't on, like, I thought it was getting towed away, but I realized I parked on the other street. Anyways, so I wanted to chat. My agenda for today is a little jam-packed. We're gonna do this together. I'll try to bring you guys more along. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. I have another meeting at two, then three, then one at five, and then I have dinner at six, then I'm flying over to New York, and then I have a meet up the next day, and then I have a convention the whole weekend. I realize if you actually hear what I'm saying right now, I have to be awake for 36 hours. I'm, I might take a nap to be honest and to be honest guys I'm just so unbelievably grateful to have the opportunity to say these things out of my mouth Like who would have known a 17 year old dropout would be saying things like this out of her mouth The opportunities you guys um, are going with me makes me feel just so much more, you know confident you guys just you're a fucking a team squad I kind of want to pull up with y'all chiropractor you guys saw and he recommended me to get this yes literally if you haven't rolled your back on this before oh my god uh -oh. the way facebook really works is if you a b test the shit out of what's up guys i just finished my meeting and it's currently time for lunch 
So I'm at Cava and I got my favorite bowl. I tried this if you guys saw on like the last vlog, but I'm obsessed with this Medi it's like Medi it's Chipotle but like Mediterranean food. And I don't know why it's the only food that gets me I'll be like I'll be honest, like you know me, I have a little bit of a digestion problem, so this is the only shit I can eat that helps me shit. Sorry, I don't know why I people don't like this topic, but it's so real and I don't give a shit. Literally get it? Oh my god. <laughs> If you want to know, yes, I finished the entire bowl. Yes. Guys, so I just finished my back-to-back -back meetings uh, with actually one artist and one life coach. So I have a few clients here in LA, and I literally just ran into one of my like coaching call students, but like became one of my absolute obsessions, Mikal, and she created her song called uh, Why I'm Here. You guys should check it out. But I love Mikal, like she's my friend. But like I literally just keep running into you guys, and it makes me so happy. So I'm gonna go have dinner with my other YouTube friend Stephanie, and you guys will see her soon. We're gonna have a fat ass meal, and it's gonna be so good i've been saving up my snack time for it if you guys see i saw like, i haven't been eating as much as i have because like i'm trying to save up for this nice ass meal like i'm gonna go down i'm gonna go ham on this uh dim sum we're going after so it's currently 5 p.m and we're gonna head down there for the freaking meal honey so we are here at the century city mall i think i'm meeting up at dane tai fung <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's real! Wait, who's taller than really? I thought Everyone thinks I'm a small Asian girl. Yeah, no, I thought you were gonna be super short. Really? <laughs> Guys, I'm here with the Stephanie. So, say hi. Hello, this is a live mukbang. Usually I charge, but for you, it's free to Yes! What do you do on YouTube? <laughs> I eat. I literally eat. She eats? Dude, no, it's my favorite thing. People think I'm being sarcastic. Like, they think I'm, like, vlogging. Dude, I'm not even joking. Stephanie makes the best mukbang videos ever. Go check it out. Link in bio. Um, I'm so proud of you, Jay. Okay. All right, I'm going to go up to my flight. Bye. Okay, bye. All right, guys. I just finished packing. My shit is in the corner. Exhibit A. So I just hung out with Stephanie for dinner. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for just hanging out with me. She's so cute. I'm just really grateful to have this platform where I can meet people like Stephanie. You guys can check her out. I'm about to head to my flight. It's currently 9.55 p.m. So I'll catch you guys when I'm on my very way. So I'm at the LAX airport and I look crazy. This is my first, my second time traveling alone. I feel so chill. I think I saw my first traveling alone video. Super scared. I feel really just... I just feel really content and like, I don't, oh, here's my, <gasps> where is it? <laughs> New York, right there. I'm just more excited to see what's next, so. Let's see if I make my flight. We should take a walk someday, dream about what we could have been. But I don't wanna leave this place, there's no faith in Brooklyn. No faith in yeah. Brooklyn. So if I move out one day. Shout out to the car, the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode